So, you just picked up a camera or a phone and decided you were going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Let me take those off. Those, those are blue light glasses, by the way. I, actually, I didn't actually get glasses. Anyway, you just picked up a camera and now you're thinking, oh man, what am I going to do with this camera? Yeah, I could make some short films or I could go the easy route and also the hypocritical one and be a YouTuber. But a lot of beginners make a lot of mistakes. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a couple of those. I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Let's uh, Peter McKinnon right through this video. The first one on the list is doing this all the time. So something crazy about these shoes is they're so highly dynamic and just the overall design of them is so rad. So the thing about don't do that. You only want to do that when there's something like actually important you're talking about, not just, and then we're gonna talk about lighting. No. Now here is an example of when you would use it. And yesterday my friend was like, bro! Basically, don't do that a lot. Also, don't like zoom into your face a bunch. It gets really, really annoying after a while. They'll constantly go like this and this and it just gets out of hand, so try not to do that. All right, the next thing on the list is always not looking at the lens. Now, this might be hard for some beginners. It's definitely hard for me. Even like this video is like the first one I've always looked at the lens. I, all my other videos, you can probably catch me looking at the screen or looking, yeah, probably at the screen. I mainly look at the screen because I can see myself, but like, I, I, I'm talking to you. And that also means Say you have some notes, like uh, you wrote some notes down, and then you're looking the uh, the, uh, the properties of physical dynamic dimensions of a Amazon Alexa. You don't want to do that because then your reader is going to get distracted at whatever is below your screen. And if you catch yourself doing it while you're filming, repeat what you said like, over again so that you can use that. Cut out the other part and just, yeah, just get rid of them. Get rid of your, no, no, actually, no, no, I want that. No, no, no. All right, the next tip is to not repeat what you say. Now, of course, pretty much all beginners have to repeat what they say because they mess up some line or something or they, they mess up some line or give them, give they mess up some line or something like that and they repeat it and that's fine. Don't feel discouraged that you do that. Everyone does. But make sure you cut the part where you repeat what you said out. Like, hi, my name is Ian and I like to do filmmaking. Today in this video, in this video we're gonna, like, no, don't, what, 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 what? Don't do that, okay? It's gonna be so much better than your audience hearing exactly what you said for a second or a third or a third or a third time. All right, next thing to do is not to do random B-roll. Pretty much what that means is, you're, you're taking b-roll of this, right? Your product you're mentioning, but then randomly throwing in b-roll of the charging cable? Don't do that unless you're like, wow, this charging cable is so nicely designed, then you can, you know, have b-roll of your charging cable, but you're just talking about the product? Don't show random stuff like that. Right, the next mistake a lot of YouTubers do is doing these same cliche videos everyone is doing. I know they get the views, but if you want to distinctly separate your channel from everyone else, then don't do. What cheap gear should I buy? Uh, uh, I'm so broke. And last tip is do not bore the audience. Don't make a super long video. Like, don't talk like this and say, oh, look at that, and I just got my new Amazon Alexa. No, no, no! Anyway, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the like button. New videos coming 2021. And remember, always do what 